What's going on, family? New day, new begins. Before we get started, hit that like and share button and subscribe button. Um, as you can see by the title of the video, um, migrant incentives above all else. This is not the bash on migrants. I mean, I guess they're very nice people. I don't know them. It is what it is. But my thing is this, right? They're coming into a, a country that is, you know, as people who are not really here, you know, because they're not documented. The issue I have is that they're coming in here, soaking up all our resources, you know, putting us um, at arm's length, you know, the government. You know, on a yearly average, it costs $182 billion, you know, to support illegal immigration, which is very um, unfair to the citizens of the United States. For example, I'm on the um, worldpopulationreview.com. You know, California is 21.76 billion they spend on immigration. You know, I mean, California borders um, Mexico and all them other countries. You know, New York. 9.48 billion, Texas 8.88 billion, Florida 5.46 billion. The one thing I will say about Florida, and like I said, DeSantis an asshole, but I give him the immigration um, bill he want to um, put into effect. That's something that definitely benefits um, the citizens of Florida, especially when it comes to jobs and so forth, right? And right now, the majority of uh, migrants are at the border, you know, and we're talking about south of the border, we're talking about Mexico, El Salvador. Um, Guatemala, um, Guatemala, you know, so far Honduras, right? And the influx that we have consistently is not sustainable financially, you know, especially when it comes to homeland security, because we don't know who's coming across the border, you know, we don't know who's moving into our neighborhood. And what's funny is funny is that when they import these migrants, they send them send the majority of them to black neighborhoods, which I know a lot of black people in different states are starting to fight back. Because we don't want them in our areas. Because when they're in our areas, they're placed there to displace us, you know, which um, put us at risk of being at the bottom, you know. And like I said, when you basically break things down, when I went to the cost of illegal immigration, it's fairus.org. You know, it's amazing, right? That basically per illegal alien is almost $8,000. Cost per taxpayers is $1,152 which totals $150.70 billion, you know. And that tells you a lot about the way our government is and the way they want to place everybody. Because if you're not documented, you shouldn't have no sort of benefits, you know. You should be able to do things the right way, like all immigrants done when they became citizens, come here legally. You know, I'm not too sure the mindset of our government and how we think but we need to take a stand and say to our like to our government we're not taking this no more you know especially us black people we're not we're not really taking it because we're sick of it you see people in suffolk county i was reading an article today that they're trying to put a bill together because they don't want mayor adams and hockley sending migrants to suffolk county to put a strain on their fiscal um and financial obligations you know people are starting to do that because they don't want um those responsibilities. Rockland County, um, they're trying to put something together in regards to that also, you know, and we need to not forget that the free housing a lot of migrants get, you know, they place them in the hotels in the city all around New York State. They ship a couple of them upstate, you know, free housing along with on along with the money they're getting. So you mean to tell me that money that you're giving these migrants, you can't give to poor black people so they could get themselves straight, you know? And that's a slap in, slap in the face when you look at things that way. You, and that's the basis of everything, you know? They busting them um, from all states to New York, you know? And Mayor Adams eventually started saying like, hey, this is becoming an issue. It became an issue when you decided to deal with it. If you would have said no in the beginning, this never would occur. And like I said, this is not a slight at the migrants, but it's common sense, basic common sense. Y'all are a financial liability and you're not even documented. And that's unfair to all American citizens, you know, and a lot of us eventually gonna have to get out there and make our voices heard that we're not taking it. The black communities, they're making their voices heard. Out there in Chicago, they're not playing that shit, you know, and we gotta start doing it in New York, all across the states, and letting them know like, hey, we don't want them here because we don't know what's coming across the border. And we know south of the border, they gangster. They damn gangster, man, you know? And I give it to them. They're gangster out there. And that's it, them countries out there. So this is not um, talking down to the migrants, but it's basically saying, hey, y'all not legal. Y'all shouldn't be here. If y'all here legally, is all what it is. Family, hit that like and share button and subscribe to Truth TR2. Thank y'all.